Hi, welcome to Brisbane Airport. I'd like you to meet the team in the Brisbane Airport Airside Operations that are responsible for making sure your travel in and out of Brisbane Airport safe at all times. Generally in the morning we come in for a shift briefing. We will roll over from the evening's night shift. Good start of the day and always come to work before the sun. Sunrise is always good here, yeah, it's always a pretty good sunrise. What does a person getting on a plane wonder what we do? Runway inspections, check on lighting, there's no pavement defects, there's no FOD, and then we're just maintaining our duty of care. We have a lot of contractors that work for us, but then we also have a lot of stakeholders, as well as other departments that we just interface with, like air services, the fireys, AFP, our own safety staff. So, yeah, it can be quite a dynamic system to try and work in sometimes. Got radios going and things like that. And, you know, you're watching and driving at the same time. Everyone I've spoken to can't believe that this job even exists. <laughs> I try to tell them, um, what we do out there and we're wildlife managers and you know we're keeping the airport safe and you know, the biggest hazard aircraft to wildlife that is so you gotta be lying to me. I don't know, I'd say I'm a safety officer out there and no, 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 what does that mean? I'd say generally just keeping the airport safe. Have you brief you plan for a normal day and then it's getting that one radio call, phone call that just your day just completely changes when that happens. It um, sort of really forces you to kick up a gear. You can never really get into a little comfort zone with what you're doing out there. You always gotta be ready to change, do anything you need to do to actually you know, deal with what's going on around you. We work together out here, not just the operations officers, but um, you know, you got all the stakeholders as well, the baggage guys, the guys in the control tower. Everyone's just a big team, really. We have our own team here, but a lot of those other people out there tend to come through us, so we're really there uh, making things happen. There's always something going on, I think, over the years. It's pretty amazing how much work's been completed. You don't realise what you're part of, I suppose, when you're just doing you know, your job every day and then you have to sit back and sort of reflect a little bit on it. Yeah, and to be a part of all of those projects, you don't really appreciate it, but sometimes you have to take yourself out and just have a look and just go around. Sometimes you sit out there and you feel quite lucky to have aircraft that close to you. We've got the tower up there coordinating everything up there and then where the eyes on the ground just maintaining our duty of care. It very much is a job where people say, what do you do? And you're an um, airside operations officer and they say, what's that? And it's, yeah, it's very much one of those, well, if I'm doing it right, you'll never hear of us. I think it's the uh, reaction on people's faces when you do take them out there. It just makes you feel that lucky to be able to go out there each day, make the place safe. That's great.